Hello, everybody, and welcome to Holly Randall Unfiltered from the Avion show floor 2023, brought to you, of course, by Joy City, the first erotic adult metaverse, which you see being displayed behind us. Um, I have the one and only, the gorgeous Scarlet Scandal, who I had the pleasure of shooting for a Twisties Treat of the Month last year, yes. so it's really good to see you. Oh, it's amazing to see you, Holly. I'm glad to be speaking with you. <laughs> Me as well. So how have you been? You've been, you took like a little like break, right? I did. I did. I've been amazing. I mean, everyone needs a break every now and yeah. then, and I came back better and stronger than ever, and I'm ready to just keep building my brand to the highest possibility that I can possibly get it at. What's it like being back at AVN? I mean, this is our first time back after mm -hmm. COVID, after the yeah. world change. How's it feel to be back here? It's honestly, it's the energy is nuts. I wasn't expecting everyone to be this ecstatic, but everyone's super excited to be here, which is like helping me a lot because I'm like a little nervous ball of energy, but everyone's just amazing. I couldn't ask for a better AVN, honestly. It's so dope. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your new brand. <gasps> oh, my new brand. Well, if you guys don't know, my man Chris Scandal just joined as the first male in the Motley Models agency, which Who? is super big. Yeah. That's like they've been an agency for 15 years or more, and he's the first male, which is I'm stoked about it, but we decided to do a brand called The Scandals. Mm -hmm. So we want to bring a different type of porn to people. We mm -hmm. want to bring art to porn and realism to porn because usually when you go on Pornhub, like, you see like stepbrother, stepsister, and like I get it, it's hot, but at the same time people want to see more realiz realism to porn. Mm -hmm. So yeah. our what we want to do is to show people intimacy and like also like rough intimacy like you can still be intimate but still be like fucked and destroyed as like mm -hmm. most girls call it but we really want to like give people the chance to see what real love is and that love still exists in porn because I get all the time like how are you in a relationship like being in porn getting fucked all the time but it's it's really about communication and like yeah. we really want to show people that it's capable and like love still exists in porn because I've always heard like don't be in a relationship if you're in the industry, but I just, it's, everyone needs love. And yeah. like, if it comes, you shouldn't block it. And I met him and he came in and we decided to do this and it's been absolutely amazing. And it's nice working with someone on set that you have a strong, genuine connection with. Mm -hmm. And I want us to be able to bring that into the industry to show people something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will say when I first started seeing photos of you guys together, I like mm. checked out his Instagram yeah. and I was like, holy shit, he's extremely good looking yeah. so congratulations <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> you, you guys would like have beautiful babies oh, yeah. like if that ever happens <laughs> um but tell me a little bit about how one can be intimate and then still have rough sex because i think a lot of people find that that's like a dichotomy that they can't really master in their brain so how does that work for you guys yeah it's really it's really about the connection that's all it like boils down to if you can go on set and look at someone and like instantly in the eyes you can tell if you're going to have a connection with this person. So it's like when you're watching porn, you want to see a connection. At least I do when I'm watching porn. I want to see real stuff. So like how I form a connection, it's it's all about the eyes to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like sounds weird or not, but you, oh, the no, eyes absolutely. are like the pulls to the soul, the windows yeah. to the soul. So it's like if you can connect with someone deeply like that, the scene is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be breathtaking. It's going to be beautiful. It's not just going to be rough and raunchy. It can still get there, but at the same time, you see the connection between two people that's so strong. It still brings the beauty to the scene, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, you know, I think that people can express love and intimacy in so many different ways. Yeah. And we think, I think when most people think of intimacy, they think of, like, rose petals and a yeah. bubble bath. And exactly. Like slow. But, like, I think you're right. I think intimacy is is about that eye contact it is. connection and mm -hmm. it's about the communication and it it's is. about understanding what the other person needs. And trusting your partner fully, yeah. yes. Very, the trust is very big as well. So had he done any adult scenes before he met you? No, he's so, very new. So how, <laughs> how was that for him? Have you, did you guys start doing content for like say your OnlyFans or mm -hmm. whatnot and then did yeah. he transition to like the, what we call mainstream yeah. porn, which is basically being on set with a bunch of people exactly. staring at you. Yeah, so he, we started on my OnlyFans, and I, like, introduced it to him. I was like, hey, like, 
you look good, I look good, let's post videos together on OnlyFans, let's see how it goes, and people loved it, and then he loved it, and I was like, well, how do you feel about shooting professional porn? And he was like, if I, he's like, I'm your biggest support, and if we can build something together, that would be amazing. And I was like, let's fucking do it. And then we instantly, I hit up Dave from Motley, and he was like, he wants to give him a chance, and he trusts him to carry the brand as a first male, and he's been doing amazing. He shot his first scene with Deeper, which is a big deal, and Caden was so amazed with the scene. I'm very excited for everyone to see it, but I he has a lot of potential. Yeah. I'm like, you guys better watch out for him. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> we get so greedy. We get so excited when there's, like, a good-looking, mm -hmm. strong, performing male talent in the industry because there's not that many of there them. Isn't, there yeah. isn't. So mm -hmm. it's like when a new guy comes in, it's yeah. like, oh, my God. It is, and he, Gosh, he has a huge heart. He's, like... He's not like one of the males that come in and they have a super huge ego and they're yeah. just like, I'm the best. It's like, yeah. it's not about that. He doesn't, he's not in to be the best. He's in for the support and the love behind what we're building, which is amazing. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are you going to the awards? Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, have you picked out your dress and everything? I have, but it's not even altered yet, so I'm really stressed. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you're going to look fantastic, whatever you wear. I'm very uh, excited. Are you up for anything? Yes, I'm nominated for um, Best Threesome, three-way for Ricky's Room with Kylie Rocket and Ricky Johnson. And then the other one I know I'm nominated for is Best All-Girl Sex Scene with Spencer Bradley and Kylie Rocket again for Reality Kings. And then Best Vignette Sex Scene mm -hmm. with Manuel for Deeper. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Holly. Can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? You can find me on Instagram at The Real Scarlet Scandal. And on my Twitter, it's just at Scarlet Scandal. Awesome. Have an amazing time at the show. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. <laughs>